Everybody in YouTube land, it's Philip 20 today, and we've got uh, some batteries. This is uh, 38 batteries in series as one bank, and you can see uh, I've got markings on them. You know, temporary. I've got uh, this one, that one there, those two, and that one right there. Those are currently very low voltage during a load test, so. I'm going to be pulling those down and putting uh, some that are, or I'm going to charge up, I guess. I don't know how in the world I'm going to come up with a way to charge these 1.5 volts. I'm going to have to come up with a way to charge them. Uh, you know, um, I can probably hit it with a 2 amp trickle charge from here and it'd probably charge them up. I haven't tried to see how many volts it is, but I don't think it'd be many. But you... you <coughs> If, uh, you know, all the other cells are currently 1.2 volts or around 1.2 volts, those cells are like 1 point, uh, 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 volts or something, you know, 0 0.8. All that is critically low and in dire need of uh, electrolyte change, maybe some cleaning, I'm not sure. But the rest of them are running uh, pretty hot, to be honest with you. I'm pretty happy so far. Uh, I'm sure out of the rest of these batteries right here, I'm going to be able to make one bank uh, functional. Um, and after that, I mean, you know, it's going it's kind of up in the air. So I've got to go ahead and shut the inverter down and, you know, do it again. And, man... The biggest problem I got with this inverter is the button that turns this thing on is inside the MP panel. You have to open the panel to turn it off, if, you know, to do any maintenance. You have to unscrew it and then press a button again. I hate that. But, and, you know, it comes with efficiency. I guess engineers didn't think about putting a button on the outside of the MP panel. Oh my gosh. How are they going to turn it on without a screwdriver? <sighs> you know, and I can't take the top cover off and leave it off during this maintenance. I got kids, you know. I, they don't come down here anyways. They're not allowed down here, but, you know. And also, you can see how I've built the stairs. Uh, you know, I put the front pieces on and then, you know, the flat piece. I got a bunch of cross bracing in the back i've got boards all the way across in the back on the bottom uh before i put any more batteries on here i gotta add uh, the things i put one in the center you know for now um and the one in the center is absolutely necessary the other ones are not necessary i don't think at the moment until i start loading down with another bank, uh, which I'm going to do pretty soon. I got to clean up, uh, get rid of this refrigerator. I've got some scrap metal over there. Um, basically, I'm cleaning house. But, you know, I've got one bank up, but not done. These five batteries have to be replaced with functional batteries. So I'm discharging these completely. And then I'm going to change these batteries out and then I'm going to put uh, different ones in hoping that I get uh, some performance. I think I got five batteries over there that will function. Uh, big problem with hydrogen gas. It is a severe problem. Um, you see this thing on the wall right there? That is a uh, carbon dioxide and explosive gas alarm. So basically it was going crazy. Uh, the alarm was going off. Tell me there was hydrogen in the garage, which if anybody's doing one of these systems and they don't have a CO2 and explosive gas detector in their 
area, they're going to be, uh, you know, asking for a bomb. Because once you get, uh, you know, enough parts per million inside your house, you can't even smell it. I mean, it can, it, it, it travels straight up to the ceiling at 60 miles an hour, hydrogen gas does. So, I mean, it's, you can't even smell it. It's incredibly dangerous. Uh, so, I mean, you've got to have one of those, man. I had one in my house because I have one. I like them. I, I use it. I enjoy it. And, you know, it's important. So, it's important to me that I have it. So, you know, in all real world case scenarios, this is, you know, the beginning. There's kinks I've got to work out. I took the vent down and suck air from the top instead of the bottom. The other batteries are disconnected. And, you know, I'm still running right now off of these. I'm, you know, trying to discharge them. But I'm lo losing about four volts because of those five batteries that are messed up and four volts in a 48 volt system is enough to you know turn off prematurely so i gotta get all these up with functional batteries so i'm, I'm gonna take those uh those five out and these two will be easier to replace and that one, those two, I mean, you know, it, it is what it is. So I just, I just, I'm enjoying it. You know, it's pretty fun so far. It's a pretty good experiment. So what I'm doing to test is I'm discharging them late into the night. I'm checking the voltages at night during discharge and seeing which one is the lower voltages. Whichever one is the lower voltages is ones that are lower capacity. And also you can look at it during charging. If you've got one that is a higher voltage than the other ones, you know, on average, all of them, then you're going to want, you know, to uh, take that one out and, uh, you know, put another one in its place. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to have as many batteries as I thought. I'm going to have to clean them all out to get them all functional again, which... It'll be, it'll be a good project. It'll be a long project because I'm not going to be able to purchase any KOH anytime soon. Because I got Christmas coming. My kids want to have some Christmas. And I'm going to get everything set up and running as best as I can. I'm going to try to wake them all up. You know, I'm hitting them real hard with uh, this charger. This thing will do 200 amps. And it's it's happy to do 200 amps all day long. I mean, so uh, well it'll do 200 amps for about 30 seconds. But <clears throat> we're gonna discharge these down, and uh, I'll let you know what's going on next. Before I put any more batteries on there, I'm gonna put the braces under all the other runners, and then basically I'll be good to go with that. Thanks. Philip 20, solar power, electricity, and electronics. And I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace. Hello, lazy to get gentlemen. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming. Click the subscribe button below. Make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel. See you next time. Peace.